is a very symbolic chapter break between what I call globalization 1.0 and globalization 2.0. And I think what is at stake at this moment is, is not only how we deal with COVID, that's uh, in the forefront of our effort, but we have to once again defend and protect the values. You know, I believe in Belarusian people. I believe in the desire to build new country uh, without dictator. I'm sorry to say that the time when 15 big, big men somewhere in one room or 20 or seven decided everything, he's gone. What happens in the post-COVID world, whenever that happens to be, uh, if and when we obtain a virus, and that a vaccine, I should say, against the virus, and the vaccine is properly distributed, I think we're going to see a damaged China and a damaged America. Globalization 2.0 is about the disruption of global supply chains, the creation of more national supply chains, you know, the disentangling of the U.S. and China, you know, the decoupling of the U.S. and China. And if we can play these trends well, then actually I believe that the power of people will help us to counterbalance these geopolitical big trends. It's absolutely essential to support human exploration for space agencies to pool their resources. Now history is uh, making, and you are making this history. Uh, we will get over it, I'm absolutely certain. If we, if we believe in our strength, uh, in our values,